how did you break down that thought process to create the revolution of a team of teams, an ecosystem, and how did you know it was working and what were the indicators that you had in place to know that this was the right way to go? Here's where it got really hard. We were not a failing, incompetent organization. JSOC was the best counterterrorist force ever fielded in history. It was 22 years old. It had unbroken successes. We realized we are losing to this other new entity. We had to come to grips with the fact that one, we're losing and we're going to lose if we don't change. Mm -hmm. And then what are the costs? And it was still frightening for everybody. It was frightening for me as a commander because I had grown up in it. Yeah. And now I'm in charge and suddenly everything I'd grown up with and wanted to do as the commander was not working. We became very practical. What do we have to do to win? And in fact, that's sort of the, the mantra because I couldn't give the command a detailed plan of what we ought to be. I couldn't say, if we do this, we will win, because I didn't know. There's no checklist. All I could say was, we are gonna have to become whatever it is that it takes to defeat this organization, and we're gonna have to get there by whatever path we can, because we don't know what this is, so we're certainly not gonna get there in a straight line. You know, there were doubts inside the organization. I certainly had many. But as we started to change, there was a certain liberating feel to that because you say, we're gonna do whatever works, we're gonna stop doing whatever doesn't work, and we're just gonna navigate. So we, didn't, we weren't held by doctrine, we weren't held by previous things as much as the big military would have been. And so as we started this move toward it, and as we became more reinforced, when something worked, we'd do more of it, or we'd improve it. And that became the culture of the organization over time. I had to lead very differently because I'd grown up with the idea that the senior military guy in an organization has the answers. You know, why should I be in command if I know less than my subordinates? Well, we never really, I never really put that to a vote. <laughs> right. uh, but the but what an interesting question. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, but what I learned to do was say, I don't know. I don't understand that. Tell me what we're doing here. Explain that to me. And at first I thought that would result in people not respecting me. Actually, I got the opposite. I got people saying, well, he's honest. He, you know, he doesn't understand and he's respectful because he wants us to tell him. Right. The worst thing to do would have been to try to fake it. Yeah. To say, yeah, I understand something that I don't. 